Okay, so today we're going to look at what can happen. People will have issues with toner cartridges supposedly spilling or having issues with smudging and, and stuff like that. You know, if, you, if you're selling a remanufactured cartridge, people are going to automatically go to the cartridge is bad, it's spilling, it's improperly remanufactured, so on and so forth. But what we see a lot is the waste hopper on these, which I've already disassembled this toner cartridge because this is a great example. The waste hopper, which is this piece right here, is going to fill up. And as you can see, it, it got a little grungy as I pull it apart, but these will tend to fill up with toner on one side. And you'll see when I take this off how filled these will get. And this is the waste hopper. It's doing its job correctly. But, you know, all toners are like this. All toners have, you know, toner hoppers and then waste hoppers. For any excess toner that doesn't go on the page, gets dumped off into this waste hopper. So as the cartridge works its way through the life cycle, um, you can have uh, issues with the waste hopper filling too much unevenly, and on one side of it, you'll have an overspill. And what you can see here on this photo, or on this, this page here, this is the image defect you get. And it's, again, it's spilling out that side. So, if, you know, this is coming out the printed page like this. If this cartridge were turned over, if this were the way it went in, so it goes in this way, you can see this side would actually be over here if it was turned upside, and you can see how it's dumping. So, this is the toner hopper side, where all the new toner goes in. And, I mean, it's hard probably to get the feel for this through a video, but... You can tell that thing is just hollow. There is some toner in there, and it was still printing. However, you know, when I looked at the initial prints for this call, that were, you know, there was a stack of paper sitting on there about that thick, you could tell that they were printing way outside the 5% coverage range, which that's what HP recommends, or that's how HP defines yields for their cartridge. So it's 11,000 pages at a 5% yield. 5% uh, coverage is technically like a... Uh, number 10 sized uh, font, New, K New Times Roman, one page, non-bolded text. So when you start getting, you know, different shades of, uh, you know, backgrounding on spreadsheets or whatever, graphics, so on and so forth, kind of like what modern day printing is, you start going way outside of that coverage range. But if you look on here, when you print that supply status page off, it's saying that there's 11% left. Estimated pages remaining... And it's saying based on coverage of 4.7, but, you know, this is all estimated. Um, there's really not a real good way of, 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 of getting it. HP just goes off averages. HP will consider a cartridge empty if you go to their website and do a little research. Technically, they'll consider it empty, and they will not warranty it if it's under 20%. So as you can see here, um, they printed letter size paper of 11, 2, or 11 241 pages. Um, numbers of jobs processed 4258 as you can see those numbers aren't that great these I mean this is all kind of just a something to go off of just as averages and you know something to look at to get a, an idea and you can see it was involved installed lat was installed in November of 2015 and then it was last used today because I was out there testing it but what I wanted to show you is when you open this side up of this waste hopper, you're going to see all that toner sitting in there. And again, I took some out, trying to get this this. When anytime you take take this thing apart, anytime you take these cartridges apart, it's a mess. Normally, they have what's called a black hole, and it's an induction system that pulls all this dust out of the air. But I'm not doing that here. I'm just pulling this apart to show you. So this is the wiper blade that wipes it all off. But you can see. All that toner and now some of it's settled but you see all this can you see that on there mm -hmm. you've got all this waste toner sitting in there and then when people pull these out to get a little bit of extra toner and shake it up and do all that kind of stuff you agitate this so then it starts filling to the top so when this thing is on when this thing is back in place like so and screwed into place What's happening is as that waste hopper or that waste toner goes in through this slot and pulling it off this drum unit that's sitting in there like this, what's happening is it's just coming back out and then it spills out onto the page on either side. 
So they can fill up on this side, it can fill up on either side. You know, it's supposed to spill into the other, but you rarely ever have that. And this is gonna happen on any cartridge. Normally you don't see it on, um, I mean, it can happen on a lot of cartridges. It depends how efficiently the cartridge printed or did not print. But you see it on like the 12 ARs or the Q2612s a lot. A lot of the smaller unit cartridges like the 85A, um, and these are the these are just the part numbers we use. These are the last two digits, and then the the part number, which you know 85A or you know an X is the high yield. But you see them on the the low end cartridges that have like 2,600 page yield or 1,500 page yield cartridges. The waste hoppers are so small that you can barely fit any waste in there. And if they're if they're used and they they're really efficient, and you go beyond what the uh, you know you go beyond the page uh, yields, and sometimes you can get more out of it than what suggested yield is you can have these kind of issues so um i wanted to show people this because a lot of times there's you know they'll be skeptical about oh the cartridge is defective but in this case the waste hopper is full and this side like i said i mean there's a little bit of dust coming on there but this thing is it's totally hollow if you had toner filled in there you'd have a much more like deeper bassy sound to that so that is an image defect that you will see, and the ways you can figure out if you do have that, um, again, over time you'll just be able to tell if you have an empty or a hollow um, uh, toner hopper just by tapping on it, you can tell. And then secondarily, when you print the page off and you got under 10% or under 15% and you got stuff like this, you pretty much know you got a full waste hopper. So, little tech tip.